it is eight weeks until I go on holiday. So I've decided to do a little cut just to kind of like lean down and get in like a little bit of a better shape for my holiday. So today is day one, first day in a calorie deficit. So I thought I would do a bit of a what I eat in a day, workout, food shop, haul video, just to kind of show you the th types of things that I'm going to be eating while in a calorie deficit, the types of workouts that I'm going to be doing and yeah I thought it'd be quite handy to include a food shop haul as well because I know that a lot of people find that quite helpful so I'm going to add that in at the end of the video. But yeah I'm actually like kind of looking forward to doing this cut. I feel like I've not like properly put my mind to something like this for so long now. Um, normally the only time that I would ever do a cut is if I'm going on holiday and because of Covid obviously like that's not happened for like pretty much two years now. So yeah I'm just looking forward to having like something to work towards and something to put my mind to and yeah like I'm feeling pretty good about it. So that is pretty much what the video is going to be today. The main chunk of it is going to be the what I eat in a day and um, so there's going to be like a lot of like lower calorie stuff than what I would normally have. As always it is pretty high protein even though my calories are slightly lower I'm trying my best to keep my protein as high as possible. So meals and snacks are pretty much all high protein as well. And um, like I say this is only day one of my cut so right at the beginning my calories are still pretty high. Whenever I kind of go into like a cut that's got a bit of a time frame I always like to start with my calories as high as possible and then grab gradually decrease them as time goes on because if you start like right in at the deep end with like really low calories you've kind of got nowhere to go from that so I always think it's better to start as high as possible and then just kind of gradually decrease like if and when needed so yeah they're still pretty high at the moment and I'm gonna try and keep them like that for as long as possible because I like my food and me in low calories don't mix well. So keeping them as high as possible for as long as possible. On top of that I'm going to be doing four weight sessions a week. I'm going to be doing three lower body and one upper body. So I'm going to include one of my lower body workouts in this video as well so you can see the types of things that I'm going to be doing. And on top of the weight sessions I'm doing some cardio as well. So I'm starting off with 15 minutes after every session. I'm just doing an incline walk and again I'll probably like increase that as the time goes on. Um, same as the calories, you don't want to go right in at the deep end and be doing like 40 minutes of cardio every single day straight away because you've got nowhere to go from that. So yeah, starting off with the 15 minutes and I'll probably like gradually increase it as the eight weeks go on. The way that I am, I'm more likely to increase my cardio than decrease my calories because I would rather spend an extra like 10, 15 minutes at the gym every time I go than eat less. <laughs> so that's probably the way that I'm more likely to go but starting off with a 15 minutes and I'm also doing 10,000 steps a day. So yeah, that's kind of my starting point for this little cup. So I'm gonna take you through everything that I'm gonna eat today. I'm about to make my breakfast now. I've been to the gym earlier this morning so I'm gonna insert my workout that I did here and then I will see you for breakfast. having my usual this is protein oats 
So I've got 50 grams of oats, one and a half scoops of my protein chocolate brownie protein and 20 grams of crunchy Biscoff spread. I absolutely love this breakfast, especially at this time of year when it's starting to get a bit colder. And I find that the Biscoff spread goes so, so well with the chocolate brownie protein. Oh, and you get the little biscuit bits. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. And um, I also feel like as my calories start to get a little bit lower, the Biscoff spread is probably gonna be the first thing that I'm gonna like take away just to like save on calories so I'm making the most of it while I can still fit in. So I'm about to make my lunch and I'm making some pasta today. So I saw this recipe on TikTok a couple of months ago and I'm finally getting around to trying it out. So it came up on TikTok as low calorie creamy red pepper and chicken pasta. So I thought that is going to be perfect for the cut. So that is what I'm making today. It seems quite simple simple to make but it does take a while and um, it's mainly the sauce that sort of like takes the time but it sounds really good so I am looking forward to it. So I've got a baking tray here with five tomatoes, one red pepper, half an onion and half a bulb of garlic and some basil as well. You put that in the oven at 180 for 40 minutes and then blend it all up and then mix it in with the chicken and the pasta. So yeah, that is what we are going for today. So I'm gonna spray that with some fry light and we'll get it in the oven and I'll catch up with you when it's nearly ready. This smells so good. Um, so I'm just gonna transfer all of this into the Nutribullet and blend it up to make the sauce. Okay, so that's all in there, ready to be blended up. Um, I've got five chicken sausages cooking there and 65 grams of spaghetti boiling as well. Um, I'm gonna add some of the pasta water to this to blend it. I feel like that's gonna be pretty thick. I think it needs like a little bit of liquid. So I'm just gonna add like a couple of tablespoons of the pasta water and then we'll get it blended up. So I'm gonna add the sauce to the chicken sausages. And then mix in 20 grams of the lightest Philadelphia. And you're just gonna add the spaghetti and mix it all in. I'm just gonna add a little sprinkle of Parmesan to the top. So it definitely doesn't look as good as the one that I saw on TikTok, but I don't think it looks bad. It smells really, really good. So hopefully it'll taste good as well. Let's do a little taste test. That is really, really nice. And considering like it's pretty low calorie as well, cannot complain. So it's a couple of hours later now and I'm gonna have a little snack to keep me going until tea time. So today I've gone for two of these little light baby bells. These are really, really good for helping boost your protein. Um, each one has got five grams of protein, so two of them, 10 grams of protein for under 100 calories, which I think is really, really good. And I'm also having an apple as well. So for tea I'm making a chicken wrap and homemade wedges. It's quite simple, quite easy to make, it doesn't really take that much, it is pretty straightforward. Um, so I'm making the wedges first because they take the longest. So I've got 150 grams of, so I've got 150 grams of potato just like chopped up into wedges. I always just leave the skin on these because it's easier but I guess you could peel them if you wanted. And then I'm just going to spray those with fry light. Add some garlic granules, some onion salt and some smoked paprika. So I like to do these in a box because it makes it much easier to get them like fully coated. And um, so yeah, I just pop the lid on and then give them a really good shake. And they're all nice and 
and evenly coated in there. So yeah, just put those on a baking tray. To be honest, I never really time how long I'm cooking them for. I just kind of do them until they're crispy, but I think it's roughly 30 to 40 minutes. For the chicken wrap, well, it's technically flatbread, but I turn it into a wrap. So I use one chicken breast, just cut it up, fry it off in some fry light. I cook it in this kebab seasoning, um, Coleman's Big Night In. This serves four, so I just kind of use like quarter of the pocket on one chicken breast. It's got such a nice flavour to it. I really, really like that. Um, and then I use one of these Greek style flatbreads. They are quite small. Um, they're not like as big as a wrap, but you can still wrap it up. And it's just like a lot like thicker and nicer. I much prefer these to wraps. Um, so yeah, I have one of those, put the chicken in it with some spinach and some light mayo, and then the wedges on the side, and then that is pretty much it. Okay, so we've got the flatbread with spinach, chicken in the kebab seasoning, and some light mayo. Um, I've got some extra chicken on the side because it didn't all fit in the little flatbread. And then I've got my wedges on the side there. This has been like my latest obsession. I absolutely love this meal at the moment. So to finish off the day, I am having some of this chocolate. So this is my all time favorite chocolate. I absolutely love it. It's the dairy milk with the little crunchy bits in it. Oh, it is so, so good. Something that I think always helps me when I'm doing a cut is like including foods that I really like. Um, and that's something that I like always encourage my clients to do as well. So obviously like chocolate is quite often deemed like bad or unhealthy or fattening. So a lot of the time when people want to lose weight, like they cut stuff like that out. You can still have things like that as long as it sits within your calories, it's completely fine. And for me, it just makes the process like a lot easier and a lot more enjoyable to include things like chocolate as well. So that is what I am finishing off the day with i'm having six squares of this because that's all i can fit into my calories for today um and then yeah that'll be the last thing that i'm gonna eat today so i'm gonna insert the clips that i took when i got my food shop the other day and like i said at the beginning of the video it's like a healthy food shop haul so you can kind of see the types of things that i tend to go for and um, so i'm gonna insert that now so I've had two different food deliveries today. I've had a Tesco delivery and a muscle food delivery. And I thought it would be good since I was like filming the what eat in a day video to also include like a weekly food shop or stuff that I kinda I'm gonna be eating while I'm doing this cut. I'm gonna start with the muscle food stuff and then we'll move on to like the big like main Tesco delivery that I got. I don't normally order from muscle food that much. Like it's literally been years i think since i last ordered but doing this cut obviously my calories are a little bit lower and one thing that i cannot live without is pizza and i know that muscle food do some really good low calorie high protein pizzas so i wanted to order some of them and um, to kind of keep me going through the next eight weeks so i picked up three different pizzas they had an offer on and it was three for 10 pounds so i got three i got one chicken tikka flavor and two of the meat feast ones so the chicken tikka one has 317 calories per pizza and 25 grams of protein and the meat feast one has 389 calories per pizza and 33 grams of protein really really good calorie to protein ratio and from what i remember these are really really good so yeah i'm looking forward to having some of those that was like the main reason that i ordered from muscle food but they had like a minimum spend otherwise you got charged like an extra 10 pounds or something so i had to get some other stuff as well picked up some salmon it's a little bit cheaper on muscle food than it was in tesco so went for it for muscle food i want to make that salmon rice bowl that's going around on tiktok at the moment so i got some salmon for that i also picked up this little ready meal thing so i have had one of these before and i remember it being really really good so it's a high protein sausage and bean meal 
thing. So it's basically like this little ready meal and it's got sausages, potatoes and beans. And for that meal, it's 386 calories and 20 grams of protein. So again, not too bad. I don't really know when I'm planning on having this, but I just thought it would be handy to have. Also picked up some Eat Lean Cheese. So I've never actually had this before, but I've heard a lot of good things. So per 100 grams, it's 172 calories and 36 grams of protein. And then the last thing that I picked up from Muscle Food was some grenade bars. The dark chocolate and raspberry carb killers. These are my favourite protein bars. I absolutely love them. They are so nice. Um, so I got a full box of those. If you're buying like a full box, definitely get them on Muscle Food or Amazon. Because on the actual grenade website, it's £30 for a box of 12. Whereas on Muscle Food and Amazon, it's only £18. And then moving on to the Tesco delivery so I get like my main big food shop from Tesco. I get a delivery every two weeks again they have like a minimum basket charge so I think it's if you spend less than £40 then you get charged like extra because it's a small basket and because I'm just on my own if I was to order like a week's worth of food some weeks it wouldn't come to £40 and I would end up paying extra so I get two weeks worth of food just to kind of take the price up so I'm not having to pay extra every single week and I'll just kind of nip to the shops if I need anything extra or if I've got like some veg that goes off or something I'll just nip and pick that up when I need to. So what I'm going to show you is like two weeks worth of food. So I always get two big bottles of Pepsi Max. I don't really drink like fizzy juice that much really, it's usually just water but I do quite often like to have a little glass of Pepsi Max in the evening. So I've got two bottles bottles of that. Picked up some tender stem broccoli. So we've got some spinach. I go through spinach like I don't know what. And um, so I always get a bag every time that I order my shopping. So I've got some potatoes. I've been really enjoying making homemade wedges at the moment so these are going to come in handy for that. In here is carrots. I also picked up a pack of tomatoes and I got two peppers as well. I don't normally get tomatoes or peppers but I saw this low calorie pasta recipe on TikTok that I want to try and you need peppers and tomatoes for the sauce so that's why I picked those up this week. Got some sweet corn, a turnip slash swede whatever you want to call it. I like to have this mashed with like chicken and veg and gravy. It is so low calorie and you get like so much for the amount of calories so this is a perfect way of like filling yourself up and a calorie deficit because it is really really low calorie and it tastes really nice as well especially with gravy and I also picked up some apples I'm not really a massive fan of fruit if I'm being honest but the other day I was really really craving an apple for some reason no idea why and I know that normally I probably don't eat as much fruit and veg as I should so I thought I would make the most of it while I was in the mood to actually eat fruit and pick up some apples. So I got those just to have as some snacks. I picked up some heck chicken sausages. I am absolutely obsessed with these. I go through so many of these. So I picked up three of these packs. But yeah, I have these pretty much most days. They are really, really like macro friendly and they taste really good as well. Then I picked up two packs of chicken breasts. I use these in like pasta with rice and stir fries. Two packs every time that I do my shopping. Anything that I don't use before they go out a date will just get frozen and like they won't get wasted. So yeah, picked up two of those. And I also picked up two tins of tuna. And then the last like meat product that I got well it's not actually meat and um, I ordered some of the heck chicken burgers and um, I ordered two packs of those because they are really really good but they obviously didn't have any in the shop in the shop because they sent me a substitution sent these beyond meat plant-based burgers which I've never had before they're still 19 grams of protein per burger even though there's no meat in them so that's really really good we'll give them a try and see how they are then I picked up some of these yogurts it's the Graham's Skier passion fruit mango and papaya. These taste really, really nice and it's 15 grams of protein per little pouch. I've got some halloumi as well. I'll probably have that with the burgers. I got some light baby bells and then I also picked up some light mayo 
and some light Philadelphia as well. So this is for the pasta with the peppers and the tomatoes. This makes it like quite creamy. So I got the lightest stuff as well on that one. Picked up some packets of rice. I got two packs of the peri-peri stuff. This tastes exactly, well not exactly the same, but it tastes very, very similar to the Nando spicy rice. It is really nice and it's just so easy and handy to have just as a nice quick and easy meal. And I also picked up two of these just plain basmati rice. Picked up a packet of these. Greek style flatbreads. These are really, really good. You make them into like little wraps like that, but they're a lot like thicker than a normal wrap. And yeah, I really, really like them. I also got some of this kebab seasoning, which is the one that I use for to have in the wraps. Onto the sweet stuff, I picked up a jar of crunchy Biscoff spread. I've got some of this proper corn. So I think this is a new flavour. Caramelised biscuit popcorn, which sounds really good. I was I thinking that's going to be like kind of similar to Biscoff. Some squares bars, the chocolate ones. These are really good. And they're only like, they're 150 calories per like bar. Picked up some proper chocolate. So dairy milk, crunchy bits. This is my all time favourite chocolate. I absolutely love it. I always like to have something sweet, something chocolatey at the end of the day. So if I've got enough calories left, I'll have some of this. If not, I'll have one of the chocolate square bars. Um, but I also picked up some of these little kinder bars as well. I think these are even lower calorie. So just again, a little like sweet treat, something that's really low calorie that I'm gonna be easily able to fit in to a calorie deficit. Last but not least, we got some Green Monster. I don't drink this that much, but I always like to have some in the fridge in case I'm having like a really tired day, just to like help get me through to the end of the day. So just to pick up some of those, it's much cheaper to buy it in like a box of four than it is to buy it single cans. Got some peppermint tea, and I also got some options, mint hot chocolate. It's only 39 calories per serving. So again, it's really handy to have if you're craving something sweet, but you'd, you're not like hungry, you just kind of want something sweet. 40 calories, cannot go wrong. And who doesn't love a hot chocolate at this time of year? But I've not got the receipt, but I'm pretty sure I spent about 80 pounds on that shop from Tesco. But I did get some toiletries and some cleaning stuff as well. So I think on just the food, I probably spent about 60 to 65 pounds, which I don't think is too bad. Cause like I say, that's gonna last me two weeks. So that's sort of like 30-ish pounds per week on a full healthy food shop. The only other things that I sort of like consider as like staples in my diet that I've not got in this food shop are oats and protein powder. So oats I have for my breakfast every single morning with a scoop of protein powder, but I've got plenty. I didn't need to buy any more this week. So that's why they're not included in this food shop, but it is something that I do have every day. And protein powder, I don't think you can get from Tesco. <laughs> I just get mine from my protein. Um, but yeah, those are like the only other two things that I will have all the time that weren't included in that food shop. So yeah, we've come to the end of the video. I hope that you found the video helpful. I hope you got some ideas of like some low calorie, high protein meals. And I hope that you found like the food shop haul helpful as well. If you enjoyed the video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.